Two WIPA members of parliament say they will not appear before the party's disciplinary committee that is currently underway to explain why they should not be punished. The leaders who include Mwingi Central, a member of parliament, Joe Mutambo, are deemed to have defected from the party and are required to respond to the show cause letters sent to them before facing the committee. Mutambo says the rebel members of parliament do not recognize the committee. To, uh, mean to punish a member, you have to follow the law. Number one, you have to follow the law to, 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 to form that committee. That committee must be formed by members, not non-members. There is no way a non-member can summon a member. And that is my argument. So if they know that they, I was summoned by members, then let them prove it. If I was summoned by a non-member, I will have the burden to prove it in court. And I know I was summoned by non-members. I think the way WIPA is operating, I don't think is is operating in, in the rightful manner. I found a, a letter in my car. It's only that they know my, my car registration number. I found it just like a, um, a council ticket on my windscreen. That is number one. Number two, I never signed anywhere that I've received this letter. Number, but that, is not, that does not worry me. What worries me is the way they are handling the affairs of the party. And what I'm calling for as a party owner and as a party member of WIPA is for the WIPA first before we do anything else to call for an election. Let us have the members of the WIPA elect their officials. Then let these officials now make a decision of the party, but not anybody from outside. But I'm not going to listen to a person who is not an unmember. That's what I'm saying. And two, I'm not going to listen to a process which is flawed. The people who are purporting to be the officials of the party, they have not been elected by anyone. And I want them to tell us where the election was, was conducted. We have our party constitution, which spells out very clearly, there must be some election. Wiper was formed from uh, ODM Kenya to Wiper. When did we order an election to elect these so-called officials who are writing letters left, right, and center? You remember very well that the person who wrote me that letter is somebody by the name of Omar Hassan, who to me, I refer to him as a refugee in Wiper. He just came running wearing an ODM ticket, I mean a t-shirt, because he wanted a ticket to run for, for senatorial, I mean, uh, for, yeah, for senatorial post in, in Mombasa. So these are people who are not, uh, I mean, they are not uh, bona fide officials of Wiper. All right, let's now speak to Nicholas Wambua, who joins us live from the Wiper headquarters. And Nick, good afternoon. So two rebel members of parliament say they will not appear before this disciplinary committee, but who are some of the members of parliament that have appeared today? Shell and right now we're still camping in the Wiper headquarters in Lovington, whereby the disciplinary committee, the Wiper disciplinary committee, had met today uh, just to speak to some of the members uh, uh, who were summoned a uh, few days ago, uh, who were given letters to appear bef before this committee today. But uh, as you understand, after the meeting, uh, Michelle, is that no single member of parliament who came in person here uh, just as ordered to do. But instead, uh, uh, le led by the Machakos governor, Alfred Mutua, they all seven of them send uh, their representatives, that their lawyers, to represent them before this committee. And uh, from the information that you have right now, Michelle, is that um, the meeting will not go on, but uh, they will again resume on the 24th of this month, November, whereby they'll hold uh, two meetings. That is on the 24th and the 25th uh, uh, of this month, uh, maybe just to see that uh, if some of the members who say that uh, they didn't have enough time or uh, to look into the letters sent to them so that uh, they may appear before the committee to see whether they'll come in person or still on the 24th, they'll still send their representatives. And right now, Michelle, I'm joined by the executive director of uh, WIPA Democratic Party, who is uh, Jared uh, Siso, who is going to explain to us just why or what happened into the uh, meeting. Welcome to KT News Desk, Mr. Siso. Uh, kindly explain to us what's concurred in the meeting. Well, thank you. We, we as uh, you are aware, we had uh, sent someone, uh, some, uh, we had summoned our so-called uh, party rebels, seven of them, uh, and today we had a sitting of the disciplinary committee of uh, a five-member team led by Halon Duby, and uh, uh, all of the, uh, the 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 the, the rebel members send their representative. As you said, there was an option in the notices that you can come in person or send uh, your representative. But the, 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 the disciplinary committee has an option upon reviewing of whatever that is their response uh, to then if they deem it fit. 
to have these individuals come in person. But so far today they came and uh, did uh, make a, a presentation that some of the notices were served uh, much later and that they could be given time to then uh, have to, 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 uh, to be given a reasonable time so that then they will have to, to then uh, prepare a case for that. And I think the, the disciplinary committee felt it, uh, it's appropriate for them to be given this time so that then uh, they don't uh, later argue that they were left out, there was no fairness, and therefore I did, uh, it was adjourned until um, uh, the 24th of, uh, of October, of, of November 2016, and the 26th, 2 o'clock. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much, Mr. Siso, for that uh, information. And uh, just, to, just to know, Michelle, is that... Uh, Boipa was the second party after ODM to carry out this exercise, followed uh, by Ford Kenya, whereby last week, uh, or this week, early this week, they took the same exercise. And we are going to see the, what, they are going, what they're saying is that a, a cleanup in the coalition of democracy and reforms, whereby we are seeing uh, them cleaning up their house, that is, in the rebels who are being sent out. Back to you, Michelle. All right, uh, Nicholas Wambua there joining us uh, from the Wiper headquarters here in Nigeria.